a, a finish which uh, you know ends up with us putting the ball in the back of the net is a great finish. Um, and with one second left, it's pretty interesting. Uh, I mean, anytime you score at that, you know, with that little bit of time on the clock, it's it's wonderful. But um, we have over four of our previous five games, we have had an opportunity within the last five seconds of the game in every single one of them. And it's been one of those where it's just off somebody's head or a diving head or something that just goes wide. And literally within five seconds on every single one of them, we've had that chance. And so, you know, you keep thinking, you know, it, it's going to come and, and, and the players are never giving up on it. And so it's to see that actually come through and with one second left on the clock that, you know, somebody puts it away. Um, you know, it's nice to see it finally pay off. Tiss had a great, I mean, Tiss just done extremely well so far this year. She's played very, very well, especially for a young freshman. Um, but to come through in that game, and, you know, it wasn't, you know, she got the through ball and had to beat the goalkeeper. But once she beat the goalkeeper, she was on a pretty tough angle with three defenders retreating in towards the goal, and there's really only one place that she could put it. And, uh, you know, I thought it was a very composed finish to be able to finish the way that she did. It wasn't an easy pass into the back of the net. But, um, you know, Tiffany's a goal scorer. Uh, it's nice to finally see her get that first one and to get it in a you know, situation against the Crosstown Rivals here with Sanford. Uh, you know, so I was excited to see that. Yeah, no, Kate, you know, Kate gives us a lot of confidence. And, you know, Kate, um, despite, you know, having been out uh, with some injuries over the past couple of years when she is in, she just brings a, you know, a, as I said, brings a presence to the field. Kate just has such a strong presence about her that you know, you know you feel good. You know that when somebody gets a half chance, there's a good chance that she's going to stop it. So when other teams are coming in, um, they're going to have to work pretty hard to put the ball in the back of the net. And so Kate, Kate does a nice job of uh, giving us that presence back there, and uh, you know, it's good, good to have her. We're starting to get more and more opportunities. I mean, right into the beginning of the Sanford game, I'm mean, literally. 10 seconds into the match, we had a great combination up front, Cross and uh, Law McCallum missed just wide. Um, I think what's starting to happen now is our forwards, uh, Laura McCallum, Tiffany Turpin, and Daniel Barcelona, those three in particular, have produced quite a number of uh, shots over the last few games, and they've been the people that suddenly you know, are getting those opportunities and starting to put them away. And it's uh, something that's been missing. If you went through before, you might see you know, there were a couple games back where we said, okay, between our front runners, we had three shots, you know, across the game. Now, other people were getting shots, but our forwards were not. And uh, that changed significantly. I think Daniel had 11 shots on the weekend, um, seven or eight of those on goal. Uh, Tiffany was not far behind that. Mark McCallum was not far behind that. So you're starting to see the majority of the shot production come from our forwards. And, you know, that's a good thing, especially when we're starting to put them back in the next spot. Uh, you know, Ronnie Hill up it. Uh, it's actually Ronnie. I'll change that. Ronnie, I'll just say Ronnie up at Vanderbilt uh, has just run a great program. They've got a, a wonderful tradition at, at uh, Vanderbilt of being one of the top teams in the SEC and that, you know, across the years, one of the top teams in the country. And so uh, this year they're having a very, very good year. And, uh, you know, it's always exciting to go up there. They have a great environment uh, uh, to play in. You know, to get up there and have another chance at a, at a top team. I mean, you know, we've been going along. It's you know, every every team we've played has been a very good team, including Wright State and Sanford, and that's why it was nice to get the wins this weekend. But uh, you know, it's just another in the long road of uh, quality non-conference teams, and so we're just hoping that we can continue what we're doing and have a good show.